The other day I made this video explaining that I was feeling discouraged and then I showed how I kind of worked through that and get to the back to the point where I'm, I'm motivated again. And uh, I got two very different responses to it. Uh, on one hand, I got feedback that made sense to me. It was like this, this was from people who understood what was going on the same way I did. And it was basically, you know, like, yeah, when you're, when you're trying to accomplish anything, there's going to be difficulty. There's going to be challenges. There's going to be ups and downs. That's totally normal part of it, right? Of course. And then you figure out how to get to the challenges and then you make progress and blah, blah, blah. And, uh, on the other, on the other hand, there was this other perspective that didn't make sense to me at all. And there were two main things. First, it was, oh no, that's so terrible that you're going through difficulty and you're having challenge. Oh no, oh, it's terrible. How can you, I see that you're going through so much right now. You're going through such a difficult time. Oh, and I'm just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is a little much, dude. No, this is just normal stuff for me. Like, part of doing anything, from what I understand, involves challenge and difficulty. And that's just a normal part of it. Like, of course there's challenge and difficulty when I'm trying to do anything worth doing. If, I, if I'm ever not experiencing challenge and difficulty, I, I feel like I'm not, I'm not doing anything. I'm, not, I'm, I'm wasting my potential, you know? So I didn't understand that perspective at all. And then the other thing that came with that perspective was, oh, here, let me help you the, with meditation and, you know, uh, new perspectives on life and stuff. And and it, it basically boiled down to, uh, like, taking, taking the, a present perspective, like just putting myself in the moment, you know, taking a deep breath, maybe going into a meditative state where I'm watching my breathing, just putting my focus all right here in the present and on myself and like turning up the ignorance of everything else to full. And I don't mean ignorance as in like, you know, being stupid or whatever. It's just like basically ignore the rest of the world, ignore everything else. Just focus on where I am and it'll calm you down and everything will be fine. Now I do understand this technique. Uh, yeah, if you just put yourself in, in the present and just basically, you know, just shut down all the problems you're thinking about, yeah, it's very calming and it can help you chill out when you need to. The funny thing was that in the video where I was explaining the difficulty I was having and then I showed the, the solution, it was actually the opposite. Like, if you kind of pay attention, I was... I was very in the moment, you know, I was doing things and I was starting to lose track of the big picture. Like I started feeling like, am I just, am I not, am I just spinning my wheels? Am I not doing anything? I don't even know what I'm doing. And then over a few minutes, I was like, wait, okay, let me stop, back up, get out of just the present perspective. Let me look into the past and, and look at a bigger perspective. And then I realized, oh, right here is where I am now. And like in the past, I was way back there. I made all this progress. Oh, great. Okay, now I can carry on focused on what I'm doing and just doing my little things. And I know I'm making progress. So I actually had to expand my perspective to, to kind of like to, to reset the, the idea that, oh, okay, I'm, I am going in a direction and doing something. And then I could get back to the narrow focus. So, and you know, the, from the one perspective, people, people totally got that. And this other perspective, people totally didn't get that. And I think I have an idea now of what's going on there. So, <clears throat> I mean, it's a weird cultural thing. So a lot of our culture today takes advantage of like naturally occurring things. So 
yeah, we've built up all these instincts over thousands of years of evolution and whatever, or maybe you don't believe in evolution, whatever. And we have instincts, right? And there are ways, and marketing people know all this stuff and take advantage of, all, of it all the time. There are ways to kind of shortcut instincts in certain ways to get people to, to behave in certain ways. Now, um, <clears throat> In school, and there's all this self-help stuff, there's a lot of stuff out there explaining to people how to do this thing where you basically kind of meditate or just some, somehow put yourself into a present perspective and then, you know, everything's fine and you can do things. The problem with it is that it's shortcutting a step before it. And uh, the step before it is actually more important than 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 that stuff so when you're just focused on the present and what you're doing it's great for accomplishing a task so you need to weld something you don't need to think about all the history of welding and the whole machine you're building no you just need to know this piece of metal needs to stick to this piece of metal just be in the present focus here and then you melt it together and and then you can move on to the next thing so you just want to you want to have a very narrow focus so having a very narrow focus and just being in the present is very good for accomplishing tasks what it is no good for at all is figuring out what task you should do. And that is more important than how well you do it. <clears throat> Let me just uh, repeat that. What you do is more important than how well you do it. Let me just give you a stupid example. Uh, the greatest serial killer in the world is amazing at killing people, right? So are they more or less valuable than a mediocre gardener? The gardener isn't very good at the, what they're doing. The serial killer is amazing, so they must be better, right? Except the serial killer, what they're doing is actually taking value away from the world. They're destroying things. Meanwhile, the gardener, even though they're not that good at it, they are they are producing value of some kind. They're, they're growing something. They're, they're increasing the value in the world. So what you do is more important than how well you do it. And in case you haven't guessed yet, the step that comes before putting yourself in the present moment and getting good at tasks is the step right before that is figuring out what to do. Now to figure out what to do, you have to expand your perspective. You have to look into the past and say, hey, what's, what's happened back there? And how did that work out? What have, what have I done in the past? And how did those things turn out? And then you got to look into the future and say, okay, there's all these different futures. Which one do I want to aim for? And then you just have to expand your, your consciousness into the universe of ideas. And the, and the bigger you can expand it, the more ideas you have available to you, the more tools you have, the more choices you have, the more, the more options you have, the more choices you have to direct what you're doing and, and, and direct your life. So when people are just going into this meditative state and uh, putting themselves in the present, they're shortcutting that step. Now normally, I mean, if you're not doing the meditation or whatever, or artificially getting there somehow, you would have to figure out what you should be doing first. Like take care of that responsibility. And then when you get to the point where you are actually doing something you have this this good feeling because you've already solved what you should be doing but you still get that good feeling even if you shortcut it see this is how uh, this is how instincts can be manipulated and uh, this is how people are manipulated manipulated a lot so if you want to have control over your life don't shortcut that step. Don't shortcut the what you should be doing step. Don't don't ignore the world, even though it's you know it's difficult to take a big view and try to look at as many things as possible. You, you know you have to look at some ugliness and there's some there's some pain involved in looking at your own mistakes and, and all this stuff. Um, but if you if you skip over that, you end up not having any control over your life. And then there are, there are obviously, you know, a million other things around you that are happy to tell you what to do. So 
I think that's what's going on with his other perspective. I think there are a lot of people, and I don't want to make too many generalizations or anything, and I, I don't I don't mean to crap on anyone, but like, this is this is a perspective you can have when you live in a city. Because when you live in a city, there's signs that tell you where to go. You walk on this line and you walk here, you stay to the right, you follow this sign, the street lights tell you what to do, there's advertisements everywhere telling you what to do, there's rules, there's codes, there's laws, there, there's just a million rules telling you what to do. What Even like what job you should have. Oh, you get the job that, that pays you the most money you can get, right? That like all these decisions are made for you in the city if you are willing to accept them. The problem with that, and you know, then you can just stay in the present moment and you don't have to think about anything and go through the pain of looking at your own mistakes or you know, problems in the world. You just focus on what you're doing and, and keep your head down and, and don't worry about anything. The problem is often people do that and then 50 years go by and they're like, wait, why aren't I where I want to be? Well, it's because you skipped the step of figuring out what you should be doing and went straight to how can I do it better. Don't skip that step because you end up lost, even though it's painful. Life's not supposed to be always easy. That would be a waste. Okay, I think I blabbered on enough.